I woke up this off today And baby everyone feels fake Somewhere I lost a piece of me Smoking cigarettes on balconies Hey guys, it's Manu here and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be making cin cinnamon roll keto chaffles. That's right, you heard it right. Super quick and easy, you're going to love them. Are you ready? These are the ingredients. A third of a cup of grated mozzarella cheese. Usually, I would say 99% of the time, I would tell you to buy the block of mozzarella cheese and grate it yourself. Uh, recently, I found this brand uh, here in Bogota, in Caruja, um, that the ingredients are really clean and even though it's pre-graded, it doesn't use any starches to, to make it better. So, if you can find a brand like this, go ahead. If not, it's better for you to grate it yourself. Two ounces of cream cheese. One tablespoon of monk fruit erythritol or your favorite powdered or granulated um, sweetener. One tablespoon of coconut flour. Coconut flour is great for this type of recipe because it's super absorbent. So even though we're only using one tablespoon, it's gonna be enough to give the batter some body. If you were to replace um, the coconut flour with almond flour, make sure you use three times as much. So in this recipe, you would need three tablespoons of almond flour. A quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Anywhere between a quarter teaspoon to half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I love cinnamon, so I'm always gonna go with the higher end, but you can use as much as you want, basically. Vanilla extract. One egg. For the cream cheese frosting, we're going to be using one tablespoon of cream cheese, half a tablespoon of almond milk, five to ten drops of liquid stevia. So here I have the two ounces of cream cheese. Just make sure it's softened before you add the egg. Um, the best thing is for you to pull it out of the fridge about an hour before you use it. If you didn't, like it was my case, just put it 10 to 20 seconds in the microwave and it'll soften up. I'm gonna add the egg, mix it really well, and then add the mozzarella cheese. So the mozzarella cheese is the one we usually use in chaffles, in fathead dough, because of the way the strings melt, it gives it a specific structure to the end product. So if you're not gonna use mozzarella, the end result might vary. Now that everything, all the cheeses and the egg is mixed, we're just gonna go ahead and add in the rest of the ingredients. And now we simply mix really well. We have to make sure that there are no um, lumps from the coconut flour. And we are ready to bring our mini waffle maker. So I'm heating up my mini waffle maker. This one is Dash, but it's actually smaller than the regular one because it is in a heart shape. Um, it's missing, let's say, all of this surface. So this batter would usually make three mini waffles. I'm probably gonna be able to get four mini heart shaped waffles. I also have a regular waffle maker, um, just like a plain regular size. This batter would be enough for one big waffle. Before you put in the batter, just make sure um, it's correctly preheated just like that. Uh, most waffle makers will have a light that will switch either on and off once it's preheated. So we're just gonna add a little ghee spray oil, or you could use any spray oil that you like. Your pill, like a river, I'll be there for you. But you gotta be there 
So now while we cook the waffles, we're just gonna quickly mix the cheesecake, cheesecake frosting or cream cheese frosting. We have the tablespoon of um, cream cheese already softened and we're just gonna add the liquid stevia and the almond milk. So that's it guys, super quick and easy cinnamon rolls keto chaffles. I'm sure you've heard the term chaffle before. Uh, it took the keto world by storm last year in 2019. It's basically a cheese and egg mixture to make waffles, chaffles, cheese waffles. Uh, this cinnamon roll version is amazing. The ch these chaffles are actually soft, which is what we want, because I don't know about you, but I like my cinnamon rolls soft, gooey, not necessarily crunchy. The cream cheese frosting works amazingly well. It's actually really thick. Look how it doesn't fall apart or anything. Um, we made five mini heart-shaped chaffles, um, but this should be enough for three to four mini waffles or one big waffle. Look how it looks. Wow. I'm gonna give you the macros for the entire recipe, so here they are. If that's too much for you, then make less or eat less, and that's fine, or you can share. Let's give it a taste test. <laughs> Here we go. Muy provecho. Hmm. Amazing. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Two things. I really love cinnamon rolls and this tastes exactly like it. Number two, please make this recipe. If, it, if you're only going to make one keto-friendly recipe this week, make sure it's this one. It's amazing. I'm sure you're going to love it. And if it's your first time watching, um, welcome. My name is Manuela Echeverri. You probably know me from my main channel, which is my Spanish channel. If you're just here browsing on YouTube and you ended up here, thank you. And it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe. I started doing um, videos in English. I do the keto diet or keto lifestyle for over three years now, and I love sharing keto and low carb recipes. Um, please do subscribe, comment down below if you like chaffles, if you like waffles, and what is your favorite combination. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share this video with all of your English speaking friends and family if you came here from my Spanish channel. Thank you so much for being part of my YouTube family, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.